When you order a pizza from a place like Pepe's, we want to keep it, you know, separated, okay, so you don't want to set it over flat. You expect to get some toppings on each slice. Listen to the customers. Because those are the people that are going to keep you alive. A lawsuit liberals have brought to the Supreme Court claims Republicans have drawn maps that keep them from having to listen to the people. They point to the Senate, where the GOP has a supermajority. 22 of 33 seats in a state where presidential races are often decided by less than one percentage point. Well, you really want to make sure you get things to the corner, too. Unlike pepperoni, you can't just move people around. So, with the help of owner Ricky Lane, we made a pizza based on the 2022 election map, with pepperoni representing the concentration of Democratic voters in cities like Milwaukee and Madison. Oh, I don't think there's nothing I can't do on the pie. <laughs> the challenge? Cut it up into 33 districts, or slices that have some kind of balance. That's going to be pretty tough to do, I think. Republicans say because liberal voters are clustered, Democrats have a natural disadvantage. But UW-Madison law professor Robert Yablon says courts in other states have said partisan fairness should be considered when carving out districts. Very commonly, what they have said is consistent with our neutral and independent role, we should make sure that the map that we're adopting does not have a partisan skew. It would be inappropriate for the court to sign off on a map that is clearly biased. To Chris Minister to hear, that's what you want to hear. Of course, our urban slices are smaller, and that causes another complication. Can you create more balanced districts without watering down the voice of minority communities? I suspect that there would be ways to do it in the Milwaukee area too, where you could bolster competitiveness at least somewhat. And that would be a pretty tough thing to do because someone's not going to be happy. That's for sure. In the end, we get to 33 slices. Probably the most important pizza has been around in this area. <laughs> as the court weighs some very real arguments, one thing is clear. It's not a simple process, but it needs to be done.